Hey YouTube, welcome back. Uh, here, working on my 2009 GMC Sierra 2500 heavy duty. I just replaced a, uh, a low beam headlights on the passenger side and the driver's side. So this is a 2009 GMC Sierra. So I watched many videos on this, uh, uh, how to uh, take out the bulbs and change them, but it's uh, not that complicated. So I already did the job, so I'm gonna show you how I did it. So I took this apart first, uh, the breeder box, take it apart, unbolt it, move it out of there. And then I reach my hand down in there and the two uh, the two uh, light sockets for the high beam and low beam are right there. So you just twist and turn those. And uh, also I put a new battery in it also. So I had to take out all that, uh, this air bracket and that bracket and uh, clean up my top end posts and uh, unscrew that one down there that holds the battery on the bottom, the base plate. So yeah, just uh, unbolt this uh, air box filter, uh, get it up out of the way, um, reach your hand in there, because when the air filter is out of the way, you reach your hand in there, there's lots of open space, so you can untwist your bulb. So I replaced that bulb uh, right here this one and then I come over to this side on the driver side which was a little more difficult now I watch a few uh, YouTube videos online and they say uh, you have to take this whole light out uh, halfway out and then down here in the uh, corner uh, you have to undo the uh, loosen up a bolt down there for your headlight well I'm gonna tell you I didn't have to do that and here's the reason why. So I took this uh, this plate out here that's uh, extra battery plate for, anyway, I just took that out of the way and unbolted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, eight bolts. Then I uh, unbolted this one here for the washer fluid. Uh, and I, uh, I just bend that back a little bit so I could reach in my hand in there now, it is a little bit uh, tight spot. I have big hands. So uh, if you got small hands, you might do better. But I just reached my hand in there. And you see that one right there. Once you move this uh, hair out of the way and bend the back a bit, you got all this space underneath here. So you just reach your hand up and twist the light. And that was the high beam light, so I didn't try the low beam because it works perfect, right? So, anyway, I just twisted that light and I grabbed my new light and, uh, and I uh, put it in and twisted it back. Now, it took me a little bit of time to get the light uh, lined up into place into the socket. So, that's why I didn't film this, so I didn't know it was going to go right or, or go wrong. So... Uh, Anyways, I just uh, want to tell you guys that uh, this is what I did, and and you can convert uh, uh, totally uh, uh, not be able to do what they did online, like uh, with the YouTube videos and stuff by moving this headlight. You get way right, uh, way around that. So if you got small hands, like you can reach under there, like uh, behind here, behind this. Uh, uh, windshield washer fluid bottle and bend that back a little bit and reach up there and uh, and twist the uh, the light bulb and replace the new one and plug it back in and then put it back in instead of uh, hacking around so if I had to do that properly like because uh, it was my first time doing it it would be probably five minutes so uh, it was an easy job after I got it set and done so yeah, so uh, anyways, that's why I wanted to show you guys on the um, on the light bulb change. Uh, maybe in my next video here, uh, if I 
the light bulbs go out again, I'll do a uh, demonstration on it for you. But uh, if I could do it, you guys could do it. And hopefully you guys got smaller hands than me. Anyway, uh, hope you like this video and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.